Turning to Old Saybrook, where families came out for an annual fishing derby. Beautiful weather for friendly competition. News 8's Jane Chaco has more on the deeper meaning behind this event. A serene morning at Crystal Lake at Clark Community Park. Children get as close to the edge of the lake as possible. If they're lucky, they'll catch the biggest fish. I caught a rainbow trout, and to be honest, it's uh, longer than my brother's, and it's heavier. Families making memories they'll cherish for years to come. We're here at the Fish and Dairy in Old Saybrook, and guess what? My grandkids caught a fish after a I taught them how to fish, but I even had to teach my adult children how to fish, too. How big was it? Uh, One pound, three ounces. The day is in honor of Ray Dobratz, whose dedication to this community was never ending. The Fish Derby has been going on for years, but uh, it, was, it was renamed 10 years ago in honor of Ray Dobratz, who was a um, member of our community, a great member of our community, and, and a big volunteer of our department in youth sports. Dobratz was one of the six workers who were killed in the clean energy plant explosion in Middletown. It happened on February 7, 2010. Workers were cleaning debris from the natural gas pipes when gas ignited. His name and the names of five other victims are printed on a plaque in front of the plant with a quote that says, We remember and honor their legacy of commitment, dedication, and service. It's a sentiment people all across the state know. Dobratz coached dozens of youth sports teams and served 15 years on the town's Park and Recreations Commission and a decade more on the Police Commission. Ray is the father of News 8 sports anchor Eric Dobratz. His hometown of Old Saybrook organizes this derby every year to honor his memory and the spirit he had to lead and teach youth. In Old Saybrook, Jane Chaco, News 8.